Good day everyone and welcome to a special edition of Space Engineers. So today we're going to go over top of uh, some things that I've made. So first you saw the Cutlass, then you saw the Bengal class cruiser, then you saw the Liberty cruiser which had turned out to be a dreadnought or a destroyer. It wasn't big enough and now I bring you the chonky girl, the Liberty cruiser, cruiser. <laughs> so she's pretty chonky. I've done some lot of uh um, aesthetic looking uh, item so uh, hopefully that works out but uh, this is gonna be my submission for uh, the uh, heavy cruiser so this is a heavy cruiser class and this is nearly 5500 blocks let's that's the maximum let's take a look here it is 5470 so I do have a little bit more to go on um, as you can see I've done quite a bit of uh, texturing along the side here to make it look better i've hidden in the the front piece here just to give it an extra bit of protection yes that is a jump drive it's not actually a gun it like in the real game so it is what it is it's all this literally is aesthetics right here so there's that uh so yeah let's just take a quick tour around so first of all we've got like the engine pack which is in the back here these are actually a pretty weak engines i think they're like level two um, but I've got uh, some uh, bigger ones for maneuverability around the outside and then I've got a massive engine pack that's kind of attached into the inner um, it's called the ribs uh, where we've got more engines uh, that are a little bit more protected and uh, they're more powerful so we've got the tier 4 engines here here and here uh, there's no engines at the front so basically if anything takes a, a hit uh, from the front it's going to survive a lot now some people may think, well, this is a lot of nothing, but uh, there underneath all of this, if you take a quick look, and I will quickly underneath it, these are all decoys. So every single one of these corner pieces is a decoy. Um, so anybody that is attacking us from the front will have to deal with that. So it's along this side, along the top, along the back and the bottom, all around every single ring. So their turrets are probably gonna go for the outsides of my ship before they do anything else. Um, I'll probably have it so that I can disable the upper and lower jaw um, decoys just so that it doesn't have to worry about that. Hidden in here I've got an artillery cannon. Uh, it's one of the more powerful puncture uh, items. So this one has got like 1500 puncture uh, for uh, the ability to kill something. Uh, it'll basically rip right through the armor and I got two of them there and they'll basically to go through those corridors. On the bottom here I've got a torpedo launcher. Um, which one is this one called? This is the 800 millimeter torpedo pod. So that's a pretty fun one there. Um, yeah, so that is that in terms of the main weaponry. And then of course we've got these uh, big behemoths here. We've got the 400 millimeter assault turret. And then we've got here, I think it is the Vanquisher. Yeah, the Vanquisher. So that's a four barrel turret. And that's going to be like the mainstay of uh, most of it. That's why I put it centered so it'll kind of attack. Uh, left right and bottom and then of course like when you are viewing your ship you typically are looking down at it let's take a look at here so this is the back end here um, we can basically jump in through the the back yes there's gravity so that's good uh, and this is also an oxygen environment you can see it's an oxygen high oxygen uh, yeah so you're basically going to be looking like this and you know you can kind of rotate around let's take this as an example so it's got pretty decent maneuverability and as long as you continue to circle around that's that's an actual barrel roll so it's going to be good for that sort of thing it's got pretty decent acceleration i'll take a look at that and deceleration is okay but i'm not worried about going front and back so much as i'm more worried about going side to side because that is where most of my maneuverability is going to be aimed towards because you just don't want to have somebody shooting missiles at you you just pop out of the way and just kind of do something like that and he's actually whoa don't do that <laughs> let's do that so that's the bridge i've got to have it set up properly uh, yet um this is the uh, tertiary bounds and yeah so that's pretty much all there is to it the exit there and if we go down here and it has to go all the way to the front here because down here this is all heavy uh, armor and this is the core of everything let's take a look inside of that core so in the core we've got everything that we would ever need so we've got uh, the hydrogen tank we've got two jumps we've got one of the reactors and we've got uh, I believe that's our generator a couple of batteries and uh, some oxygen tanks 
in the very, very back, if we go way back here, this is where our secondary uh, reactor is. And I got one of the warfare ones. Uh, so this is going to be in the back end. So this is kind of tucked away. Um, so people think the core is here when it's actually here. So if either one of those is gone, then uh, then it shouldn't be much of a factor. So that's what you see inside of there. So we'll jump down here. And this goes all the way down to the bottom of the ship. As you can see, I'm way down at the bottom now. And for some reason, every single time I'm here, that activates... Yeah, that activates the hangar. So let's take a look at the hangar bay. Yes, it comes with a hangar bay. So here's the hangar bay. And this should be able to fit one of our standard size fighters and stuff like this. So if I go over here... Oh, I need to adjust that. That should be all the way back here. But anyways, so this is uh, basically uh, just something so that if we get the uh, carrier cruiser... Um, skill or whatever it is let's take our usual ship i took the marble uh because it is a pretty cool ship and let's see if i can't fit it in here so we could take this and we will orient it in the proper fashion of course it automatically opens up for our oops for our pleasure and i could probably go third person view here there's a lot of room as you can see. I actually went way too far forward. There we go. And if we line it up, there's our sensor. Look down. Come up. And then we should have the connection right there. There we go. So now we're connected. Well, kind of connected. I don't have it super strong, so there's that. But you get the idea. So we can have somebody who's a better fighter than I am. And that can basically store itself right there. So that's, that's pretty good. Actually, almost there. I was literally almost there. Just go up a little bit. Boom. There we go. Okay, we are connected. All right, so you get the idea. So that's uh, that's that. And it'll automatically close uh, when you leave. But because that ship is there, it is going to stay open. So we'll have to have something that uh, mitigates that. No problem. Okay, so now we're back into... This is the bridge here. We've got everything labeled. So the bridge, hangar bay. This is kind of like the aft um, barracks. So it's kind of plain right now. I have a few more blocks. I could probably beef it up. Uh, there's another one over here, a barracks. So going further to the reactor, this is sort of like the, the back tail end of things. And we've got the CIC. I'm going to beef that up a little bit more. And then we've got a reactor, which is the core that's back here. And this kind of, uh, if we jump right down here, this kind of goes to that part. You've already seen that reactor. And you go all the way down, similar to my old uh, ship, we've got the exit right out the back. So we've got two entrances, one right at the, the tail end of CIC. CIC is actually located somewhere in here, so it's very well protected. And then you've got our bridge, so the connection to the bridge. But there you have it. Uh, that is the Chonky Girl, the Liberty uh, Cruiser. Um, I'm going to call her the... Uh, I forget what I called it. I called it the the True North. So that's going to be the True North. Yeah, it's got a couple of panels and stuff like that. But I think it's pretty cool. Um, let me know what you think in the description. And, or in the comments. And uh, I will uh, give you an update once I figure out exactly what I'm doing. Why am I going way off to the corner here? I will give you an update once I give uh, give the interior some uh, some TLC um, because it is just going to need uh, a little bit of more interior stuff. I got about 100 blocks worth to add to it, so it should be good. Um, and these other turrets that you see, these are just like uh, point defense weapons because I just needed to fill it up, fill in the gaps. They're zero point and stuff like that. So yeah, it should be good to go. So thank you for joining, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for joining.